Hello my fireflies and welcome back to the Cyan Firefly. Lyat here and today I'm going to bring you guys the TLDR on Rock of Ages, a little indie game I've been having a lot of fun with. It's surprising because there really is little to the game but the game does what it does really really well. The guys at Ace Team really made a good game here. But what is Rock of Ages? Well, it's more simple than you'd think. In the single-player campaign, you take control of Sisyphus, a tragic Greek figure who is forced to eternally push a rock up a hill. Every time he comes close to doing so, the boulder gets away and rolls back down. Eventually, fed up with his burden, he leads a revolution against Hades to break out. Then the plot completely flies out the window, and Sisyphus travels the lands, crushing all other rulers and philosophers with his boulder for utterly no reason. Hey, it's an indie game about a rock rolling down goddamn hills. Did you expect an epic plot? This game really is just some stupid fun. It's a cross between Super Monkey Ball and tower defense games. You have to roll your boulder downhill, dodging and weaving to avoid enemy defenses, to smash down the opponent's gate and kill his ruler. All while doing your best to prevent him from doing the same to you. Your boulder degrades as it takes damage, and the less mass it has at the end of the run, the less damage it'll do to the gate. You have to do a careful balancing act as well, as smashing objects may damage your boulder, but it can also gain you the funds to build defenses of your own and to purchase upgrades for your boulder. You must also make sure to pick up any golden keys you come across, as they are the <laughs> key to progressing in the campaign. There is a surprising amount of strategy going on here, especially as the game goes further and further along. The amount of defensive structures only grows as you go through the game. You gain some basic stuff early on, like wooden towers and catapults, but then you advance onward with such things as explosive ballista, fans, and even mammoths with giant towers on their backs. Only the careful placement of each will grant you victory, but be careful. Take too long and you will fail regardless as you abandon your offense for your defense. The game has a variety of other modes as well, such as a multiplayer racing game and even a ski ball mode. Yeah, you can play ski ball. It's one of the most amusing things in the game. The developers really tried their best to make sure there was enough in this game to keep its players interested. Word of advice Do not play ski ball as the block of ages. Just don't do it. I find it hard to really strike up any real criticism of this game. The AI can be outright unfair on a few levels, but some clever thinking and hard work can allow you to prevail against whatever it throws your way. The jokes are usually funny, but I did have a few moments where I just had to roll my eyes and groan. Also, from time to time, the boulder can just be really damn hard to control. But all said and done, it's a giant spherical rock. You can't expect the best handling in the world. Combined everything with a good sense of humor and a really nice aesthetic, and Rock of Ages is a game that'll keep you entertained for quite a while. Hop in and play it when you have about 5 or 10 minutes to kill. You can find this title in multiple formats, including on Xbox Live, the PlayStation Marketplace, and Steam. On Steam, you can typically pick it up for $9.99, though it has gone on sale before. Now, that's all the time I really have for this title today. I do hope you guys enjoyed. Do remember to like and leave a comment if you did, and to dislike and comment anyway if you didn't. This has been Lyat with the Cyan Firefly, rolling off for great justice once more.